we're looking at another jam room 5 module here this one's the uh, the documentation module uh, this is going to be useful for uh, uh, developers who are going to be selling uh, modules through the uh, jam room marketplace uh, it's going to provide a means to, to document your uh, uh, what your module does uh, so it's going to be you're going to be able to use it on jamroom.net once it's uh, once jamroom.net gets changed over to using jamroom 5. Uh, but if you need to use it on your own sites, uh, this is the uh, this is how the how the how the module works. Uh, so what you can do with this module is uh, uh, create a list of uh, uh, create different sections. Uh, let's just have a look at it. Here's a, here's a YouTube section, here's a notice section, here's a text section, here's a warning section, and here's a code section, and here's a, uh, a screenshot section. Uh, here's a section for downloading some images, uh, and there's a section for, for documenting how functions work. So basically those are your, your different file types. Uh, if you want to, uh, uh, to use them, uh, let's just log in as this user. create a section of documentation. So when you're logged in as the user, uh, we'll uh, add something in installation. Uh, and still in a foxy cart, we'll create a new one here. Uh, so we'll call this uh, setup for modules. And the category setup. Uh, you get to define your own categories here, level one, two or three. There we go. We've started with a new uh, a new blank document. Add some tags with the JR tag module. Take a module and call it. Uh, that'll do to start with. Let's add some sections. First section, a bit of text. Uh, intro to this section. And grab some Libsyn just to put in there. your first bit of uh, you can edit it and delete sections you can drag and drop them as well screenshot images that look Now if you put a title in there, it's going to appear in your uh, table of contents at the top. If you don't put a title in there, then it just uh, appears as a normal section. Uh, we won't put a title in this one, we'll have a look at what happens. Uh, so we've got the image there, and we'll put the right one up the top, so I'll move that. There we go, that's better. And we'll add another section down the bottom there. And Downloadable file, select the file, and you can see how that's going to work. Uh, it wants a specific file type for that. So you just go along and you just keep on adding sections after sections, and eventually you get a, a hint, you get a whole whole document made up there. Don't want that much in there. Get the hint size. There's a hint there, add another section, uh, text and an image, uh, some, some more text. And we'll put that at the right, and we'll just put a uh, small size, it'll be fine. And there it is there, oh, that, we'll make that a bit bigger, it's a bit small. Put it to the left and make it bigger, medium. Give this a title too, so it's uh, uh, 
and now we get that in our table of contents. Just makes uh, build it also adds the uh, links to the to the previous ones, and if you you can rearrange the the, the order of things, uh, and that'll rearrange uh, put them in a different order uh, when you when you're reading it. So if you go to the bottom there, then the one after this becomes that. That's the document section. So anybody looking to uh, uh, sell a module on Jamroom. Uh, dot net marketplace uh, you'll be using this system for documentation